Hello traders and welcome back to another Funded Trading Plus video. In today's video, I'm super excited to be able to run through our latest trading platform, CTrader. In previous videos, we've run through our latest platforms such as DXTrade, MatchTrader and the TradingView overlay on DXTrade. So today is all about CTrader. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, guys, it's important to note that CTrader offer a web version, which is what we're going to be using a demonstration on today. They also offer desktop versions for Mac and Windows, and they also have a mobile app. So if a mobile app tutorial is something that you guys would like to see in the future, please let us know in the comments. But yeah, for now, first thing first, what we need to do is log into the actual CTrader web app to do so once you're on the actual uh, tab. In the top right hand corner of your screen, you've got the login button. So head to login enter your password and email and yeah log in once you've logged in guys this is how c trader will look for the very first time this is a fresh account a demo account as you can see in the top right hand corner so this shows you that you've logged in it also shows you your account size your leverage and um, whether it's a demo or live account. So as you can see here, we're all logged in and this is the first thing that you'll be presented with. Now it can be a little bit overwhelming for new traders. So my, my aim in today's video is just try and iron out the kinks and just try and show you guys how simple this tool is to use. They've done a really good job at making this user face super interactable. Um, and it's a overall, it's a really good platform. So first thing I wanna show you guys is if you head to the settings tab, which is at the bottom left of your screen, click on settings. And we're just going to run through a few of the properties and uh, a few of these tabs. If you already understood and already know how CTrader works, feel free to skip ahead using the, um, the timeline function on YouTube. But for now, let's just get stuck into it. So properties, again, just showing you account number, currency, leverage and account type. Email alerts is one where I would recommend adjusting. Um, so if you're a trader who trades quite a lot of trades, for example, um, every time that you enter a trade and the trade hits a stop loss or take profit, you will receive emails um, to say that your take profit has been hit, stop loss has been hit, etc, etc. So in my personal case, I'd like to untick these. So first things first, let's just customize the actual settings and make sure that we're all happy with, um, with where we're at. I like to leave the custom margin calls on. We should never really be hitting these, but in the worst case that they do, it's just good to always get an email notified um, re regarding it. Now we move on to the general tab. We've got your language, your sounds, color themes. So if you wanted to change the language, all you do is click on it, go to Spanish, Espanol, uh, but we'll stick in English for this, today's video. Uh, sounds I'll leave on because it's quite, quite cool. Uh, color theme, we've got dark, we've also got light theme. So that turns, as you can see, the layout's turned light theme. I prefer the dark theme, so let's just keep it on that. Um, and layout mode, layout mode's quite customizable. So when you sign into C Trader, you might have these three windows slash tabs open at once. So if we just quickly sign it, well, click off the tab, you'll see that we've now got three main windows. Um, in my opinion, the only ones you need are the middle one and left one. So I like to deactivate the active sim symbol panel on the right hand side. Again, for font size, I keep small and everything else on here, I, I usually keep uh, how it comes. Another thing that I recommend, I really recommend changing is um, C Trader is defaulted in units. Now for most traders in our community, we, we like to base our trades and, and risk off lots. So please make sure to change this from units to lots as this will really mess up with the um, volume size per trade. And um, and it's not an easy one to, to spot essentially. So yeah, make sure that everything here is changed to lots and it will just make your life easier on the back end. Market watch, nothing to change there. Notifications, show all, that's cool. Quick trade. So this is like one click trading on TradingView for those of you who are used to that platform. I do recommend having it on double click. The only reason why is because if you're trading C Trader off the mobile phone or you, you're quite fidgety on your buttons and you're in between tabs, you could accidentally enter a trade and single click means single click. So as soon as you press that button once, you'll be into a trade. And the last thing you need is to be 100 lots deep on gold in NFP or something crazy like that. So yeah, I recommend double click, but for the purpose of today's video, we'll stay in single click mode. And then another cool feature with C Trader is they have the hotkeys button. So you can customize all of your hotkeys and essentially customize them to, to, to what favors you the most. But again, we'll just leave these at default. 
The next thing I'd like to show you guys is just a quick overview of the actual interface right now, what we've got on our screen and how we can understand what, what CTrader is showing us. So we'll start from the left and move our way over to the right hand side throughout the uh, overview explanation. On the left hand side, we've got watch lists, we've got all of our popular markets and you can create your own watch list as well. So let's try and create our own watch list. So we'll just go my watch list one. Okay. Um, so you can open this and if there's any, um, if there's any but any pairs that we'd like to add, for example, if we are a forex trader who likes trading your USD, all you need to do is find that pair, star it, and then there we go. It is added to the my watch list one. So yeah, defo spend time customizing the platform the first time that you use it because it is really important. Um, next thing we'll move over around here, and uh, you've got your different screens. So you've got multi chart mode, single chart mode. Um, you've got your zoom in buttons got your yeah, bar chart candlestick chart line chart pretty self-explanatory so far you've also got your indicators tab here and um, your time frames as well so if you want to change between time frames quickly all you need to do is scroll along the top toolbar and then at the bottom underneath the charts at the moment you've got basically your positions management i'd like to call it um, and again it gives you your balance in equity as well margin free margin just the usual sort of details which is good to see and you've also got your time zone which can be customized here too so if you like to trade based on the new york um, exchange time make sure to adjust as need be so now comes the cool part i'd say is customizing this chart layout to to what really suits you and what you're familiar with on other platforms so first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this double chart layout and just have one chart now at default you'll have the volumes indicator attached to the chart so let's say you want to get rid of that all you need to do is right click head down to viewing options and where it says volumes you'll need to un tick so where is volumes tick volume so we'll untick that and voila you've got the volumes indicator removed now let's customize this a little bit more so again right click go to viewing options and i want to get rid of the grid i don't i'm not really a fan of the grid in the background so we'll get rid of that what else can we get rid of on here period separators yeah we'll get rid of that um deal map don't need that chart scale we do need that object toolbar and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, to be fair. Um, and then what we can do now is this is a standard, bog standard, red and green candlestick layout. Let's try and customize this a little bit more for those of you who, um, yeah, who don't like the default set out. For example, me neither. So again, right click, head down to color options. And now this is where we can really mess around with the colors and uh, customize exactly how I want. So let's say if we wanted a blue candle for buy, go to bull outline, bull fill, go for a, yeah, like that. Go to bear fill, we'll go for a sort of grayish, um, bear fill, doo -doo -doo, bear outline, sorry, here we go. There we go. And now let's change the background because the black background in black's a little bit aggressive. And uh, yeah, there we go. So all of a sudden we've got a customized chart, which is really good. And if you're not happy with your with your overview and how it looks now, all you need to do is reset to light theme, for example, or reset to dark theme and uh, yeah, reset straight away. If you like the way, once you've customized your chart and you like what you see, you can simply go to templates. If we can find templates, that'd be great. Yeah, template here, save template, and you can save it as favorite, for example, or um default that will default always exist so let's just say fav fav and save that and there we go we've got a default template so if in future it ever changes around when you go from light theme to dark theme you can always right click templates and open a existing saved layout so now is the time that everybody has been waiting for how to place and manage trades so remember before when we were using the settings tab and it had the one click two click trading under the quick trade settings we've got it on single click so there's a couple of ways that we can enter and manage trades. so let's just go through um model one for example you've got your buy and sell buttons on the top on, on the top and middle of the screen in my case all you need to do is hover over these buttons select whichever lot size you'd like to trade for example in this case because it's a quick trade for example if you're a scalper you just want to buy one lot you're not worried about calculating the risk to reward all you do is head over and click quick buy again this is the first time that i've done this so it's going to give you a reminder to say look do you really want to trade with a single click or would you like to um, have a double click verification on it so i'm going to go single click um, always close select positions that warning always close da, da, da. apply uh, market order settings 
I understand the risks involved and apply. So yeah, now we can go to buy, click on buy and there we go. We're in a one lot trade on EURUSD. So now let's look at how we can manage the trade that we've just entered on EURUSD. So right now we, over here, we've got the uh, entry line, which is right here. And then if you wanted to set a take profit and stop loss, all you need to do is drag these icons up or down. The TP icon, you can see here that we've got the TP icon, we've got the distance in pips, and we've also got the USD amount if price were to hit our take profit. So let's just set it here for now at 40 USD. You'll then get a notification in the top right hand side of your screen saying that position was modified. And now let's set a stop loss to same again. All you need to do is drag the stop loss line down. It will tell you the, the, pip, the pips distance and also the USD value if price were to hit your stop loss. All you need to do is let go. And there you go. That's your stop loss and take profit sorted. Now, another thing you can do is at the bottom of your screen underneath your chart, you've got the symbol, quantity, direction, entry, take profit and stop loss. Now, let's say if we wanted to exit half of our trade and have a partial close, all you need to do is right click on the position, go to modify the position and enter the amount that you'd like to close. In this case, I'd like to close half of my trade here. So we'll go 0.5 lots and then we'll say sell 0.5 lots and it will close a position for you just as quickly as that super quick position partially closed. Cool. So that's how you do partial closes and that's how you set your take profit and stop loss. So for now, let's just close this trade and move on to how you can actually enter another new order, but in a different sort of way. So all you need to do is head over here to new order, which is above the chart in the toolbox, click on that. And now you're presented with four different types of market orders. You've got market order, limit order, stop order, and stop limit order. In this case, let's say we wanted to buy Euro USD with a buy limit at 106, uh, hundred, for example, 10600. It tells you the distance that you are currently from hitting that level. So we've got that. Now we can place the stop loss. Let's say we wanted to place a 50 pip stop loss. All you need to do is enter minus 50. And now it's going to tell you in balance and profit what you're actually going to be risking per trade. So currently we're risking 0.5% of our balance with a 50 pip stop loss at that price. If you wanted to increase that to a 1%, for example, you can go to your quantity by lots and increase this. So we know if you want to risk 1% of our account, we'll go to two lots. So we'll do that press two lots and now our balance is minus one percent risk so if price were to enter us in this buy limit trade and hit our stop loss we would be risking one thousand dollars or one percent of our balance same applies to the take profit now let's go to the take profit and now we want to have a 100 pip um take profit now it tells you what the balance would be if we were to hit take profit and also how much that would be in USD. So let's place that order. We'll place that pending order and uh, you'll get the notification as we did earlier in the top right hand corner of your screen. And if we just increase the time frame, let's go to the five minutes, 15 minutes even. You'll see that down here we now have our pending order. So let's go to the one hour just so we can see a bit better. So right now, you can see that our pending order of two lots has been set when we set it and what our take profit and our stop loss is. So that's another way of being able to add new orders to the market. And it's a really cool tool um, and extremely efficient and quick. The final thing I want to show you guys before we finish this video is how we could do your technical analysis analysis on C Trader. So if you see over here, you've got another toolbar and essentially you've got all of your tools in here, such as your trend lines, your horizontal lines, vertical lines, etc. All you need to do is very straightforward is, uh, yeah, just sort of drag them across where you'd like to place, place them easily deleted. You can change the color of them too. So let's say what else have we got here? We've also got the rectangles. So let's just say you want it to buy, buy off this area here. You can change the color of it and the opacity to click off it. And then there we go. Really straightforward and easy to use. So make sure you play around with all the different drawing tools. They've also got Fibonacci's. And uh, if you're an indicators kind of trader, they've got the indicators in this tab up here again. So yeah, C Trader overall, super huge platform, really clean, really easy to use. You can scroll around like there's no tomorrow, scroll in and out. So when you do scroll, you'll get a mouse wheel setting. So you can decide whether you want to scroll or zoom using your in and out on the cursor. So I've got the zoom, you can press apply and it will say, so every time I zoom in and out on the mouse, this is how it will work, but you can also move it around dead quick and dead easy too. 
So hopefully this tutorial has helped you understand how to use, customize and manage positions on Ctrader. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and if there's anything that I've missed out that you'd like us to do a separate video on, please let us know. Thanks again for watching and see you on the next one.